Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. This one should be quick, I don't think I'll need to stretch it out to 8 minutes, because frankly, there's just not enough news to do that, so let's just hop into it. So recently, we've been talking quite a lot about the FNAF physical copies, and it seems like we are finally getting some information on the core collection. I will say, there are bits of information for the core collection that I'm very excited about and some that I'm a little disappointed about. You're gonna see what I mean when we get to it. So previously we looked at the help wanted physical copies. If you missed that, it's linked down below. And so now in today's video, again, we're gonna be looking at the core collection. So again, let's not waste any more time. I've said that already. PS4, we'll start off with that. So this is the hopefully work in progress cover for the FNAF core collection. And it seems like it is confirmed that the core collection is going to be one game with all of the FNAF games on it. I say all again, we're gonna get to that later. But looking at the screenshots, you got FNAF 1, you got FNAF 4, you got FNAF 4, you got FNAF 3, you got FNAF 3, and you have FNAF 2. And sister location. I'm recording this while editing because I totally forgot to mention this one. So the reason why I say the cover is most likely just a work in progress is because, I mean, just fucking look at it. Does that look like something you want to buy if you see it at, let's say, GameStop? No, of course not. I will say, I actually really do like the core collection banner up at the top um, but the logo obviously that's gonna get smaller they're gonna have some of the animatronics on the cover uh, at least I hope um, and then also Steel Studios <laughs> is down in the bottom right for some reason even though they are not working on the core collection that is click team I do think the team rating is going to stay and of course the ps4 logo is also going to stay as for the price it's going to be $40 which Again, may seem odd, but once we get into what games are actually in this collection, you'll understand why it's just 40. Surprisingly, the core collection is going to be released on January 12th of 2021. That is so much more sooner than I thought it was going to be released. I think I said like quarter one or quarter two at the latest. Um, and while January is quarter one, I definitely did not think it was going to be a mid-January release. That is so exciting, honestly. Um, but now we have to get into some disappointing news for the core collection. Two years of Freddy. Right off the bat, we are not off to a good start when it says two years, and so far we've had over six. The core collection includes the first five titles that started it all. FNAF, FNAF 2, FNAF 3, FNAF 4, and FNAF Sister Location. So that is something that I'm I'm not too happy about, if I'm being honest. Um, the fact that it includes just FNAF 1 through SL, that genuinely makes me very upset. I realize they probably did it this way because Pizza Sim and UCN just are not ready to be released just yet. Click Team uh, is, they're still working on them, but to be honest, I'd much rather have this collection come out later, where it can include all the games, including Pizza Sim and Yusin, than have it come out now and not include those titles. Like, that, that's so unfortunate. So yeah, that's why it only costs um, 40 bucks, because it's just the first five, and yeah, I mean, ugh, god dang. Moving on, we got Celebrate with New Friends. Meet a colorful cast of robotic companions that are ready to welcome you to the Fazbear family, including Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Freddy Fazbear himself. Hide and seek. Survive the night by monitoring the suspicious activity of the haunted animatronics that come alive at night. They can run, but you can hide. Console exclusive features, a new achievement and trophy system, as well as optional cheats that give new reasons to revisit Fazbear Entertainment. So yeah, that's been part of the console ports for quite a while now, having cheats and having trophies. Something I wish the Steam version had, um, you know, Steam in-game achievements, but whatever. Maybe Scott will update them sometime in the future. I doubt it. And then the Xbox One is the same thing, it just, you know, as for the Xbox One. Surprisingly, no Switch um, cover just yet. There's not even an Amazon page as far as I'm aware. But yeah, the main, like, I am, I'm so hyped about this. Don't get me wrong. I'm so hyped about physical copies for FNAF and Help Wanted. It's just, I'm so genuinely upset that it doesn't include Pizza Sim and Yusin. Because what do you do then? Do you release them separately? Like, you can't, if you're not going to release them in the core collection, how are you going to release them physically? Are you going to have Core Collection 2 with just Pizza Sim and UCN? I honestly don't know why they, they're they releasing it, I say right now, but you know, in a couple months. But like, just wait until the last two are done, or maybe it is going to include Pizza Sim and UCN. It's just, since they are not ready, they're not announcing them 
just yet, because they do still have until mid-January. And Pizza Sim is right around the corner coming out later this month, and having two, almost three more months to work on UCN after over a year of making it, then again I know they haven't been working on all of the games at once, they were working on them, I believe they worked on one and then the next one, I don't know, but they've been working on UCN for quite a while now, so hopefully by, by January 12th they're going to have all of them done and they can include them in the core collection because again, I don't see how else they would do it. Yes, yeah, so that's really it. Um, either today or tomorrow, I don't honestly know which one it is. It might be tonight, but at the same time last week it was tomorrow on Friday. We're getting a new FNAF AR skin. Obviously it's going to be Jack O'Bonny. If it is someone else, I'm going to sue Illumix. That is a joke. Yesterday I also recorded my review for the uh, Security Breach plushies, so that should be coming out hopefully in the next couple of days. And then, honestly, I'm just waiting until the 31st so then we can get Pizza Sim on consoles because I'm so hyped to play that. Because after that, it's UCN time. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you all on the flip side. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.